What's going on guys, this is Chris, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a simple rig to catch Spanish mackerel off a fishing pier. We are out at the Sunshine Skyway catching a little bit of Spanish mackerel. So I'm gonna show you how I rig this up and also how to fish it. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below. Josh is hooked up right now, let's go see what he's got. You got one? He's running you under. What the heck is this? Dude, is this it's gotta thing? be a Spanish man. Oh, oh. Okay. there you go. That is the targeted species right there. Oh my gosh. Right Savage. On his, right on his nose. Savage. All right, guys. So to start off with this rig, you're going to need a trolling sinker here. And you're going to want to just tie it to your main line. This is a one ounce. Once you got your trolling sinker set up, you're going to want to get you some leader. This is 40 pound leader here. And you're going to want to get you a lot of leader. Go two, I go two full arm spans of my own arm span. Then you're going to want to tie to the trolling sinker. So you're going to have something that looks just like this. You're going to want to go ahead and put your sinker on the ground. Get you your lure of choice, which for this one, it's going to be a spoon, silver spoon. M mackerel like really shiny things. So really any, any colored spoon. I prefer the silver one. Gotcha lure is really good. Throws off a lot of flash. I'm gonna tie a loop knot here. So the spoon gets the most, uh, or we get the most action out of the spoon. So it's free, free floating on your loop. And you're all rigged up. So here we got our trolling, trolling sinker, torpedo sinker. Our really long leader runs all the way to the spoon. So what kind of proposal? Oh, that's a good one, Josh. I did see him actually. Dude, I, I was sticking him. You got a cast? No. First fish. First fish, guys, on the spoon. Oh, he's bleeding. You gonna keep him? What I'm doing, guys, is making a long cast as long as I possibly can, letting this uh, sinker bring the spoon down to the bottom, and then burning it as fast as I can for maybe a second, second and a half, letting it sink back to the bottom. 
and then doing the same thing over and over again until I get my sinker back to where I can't uh, can't reel anymore. These Spanish mackerels typically want that spoon moving really fast, a lot of flash being thrown off. One of the bites I got earlier, he bit it when I was retrieving it slow, so change your variation on how fast you reel. When you're casting, you have such a long leader, make sure you're looking behind you before you throw it back because when you throw it back, the spoon's basically going into the middle of the road and you're leaving it there and then you're making your cast. your spoon hits the water make sure you stop pause your line or give it a small jerk so you can let the spoon go further than the weight and that'll prevent you from getting twisted up like I just was Good one, dude. Oh, I, I side hooked him, I think. That's a good one. I don't think he side hooked it. No? It's in the mouth. Oh, yeah, he's a good one, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we've been hooking into. Dude, that's a nice mackerel. Oh, he is. He trumps that hey, other let's one. Get a picture while Look at that. Real quick. He's a big mackerel, man. Sweet. Crushed the spoon. Check that out, guys. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they mean. Look at them teeth. Mean suck. So the bite's really slowed down here. I haven't had a bite probably in the last 30 minutes or so. Josh hasn't had one probably in the last 40 minutes. So the fish are really sporadic. It's like we'll get five to 10 bites and uh, then they'll be gone for 30 minutes and then they'll come back. So we're pretty much just schools are running by us. At least that's our theory right now. We don't have a really strong tidal flow. Really, actually, I think we're at the peak of the tide probably here in an hour or two and uh so it's probably really slowed down right about now so we're just waiting on that next bite hopefully we can get one all right so you can also cast parallel to any any pier with this rig so all you're going to want to do for that instead of doing it overhand and throwing it behind you is simply leave your rig like so almost touching the water or, you know wherever you feel comfortable and then you almost want to swing your bait just like so and then let it go so it goes parallel with the pier. So I'm going to try and do this with one hand so I can show you. So just like that, and then you stop it like you would normally, let it sink, and then reel it in. Let's try and do that with two hands. See if I can show you guys. There you go. We got it way down there. Just be courteous of any people fishing down there. You know, you don't want to cross over your lines, that's for sure. Let's go the other way. Do it the same, same thing. Just going the other way. All right, guys so that is going to do it for today's video hey if you learned something new make sure you smash that thumbs up button and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already also we are almost at 3,000 subscribers right now i'm about 94 subscribers away so 
If you didn't know, I'm doing a giveaway for 3,000 subs, so make sure you go join that. Link will be down in the description box below. Also, if you're watching this video the day it posts, it is currently my birthday. March 22nd, 1996. That is my birthday, so it is my birthday if you're watching this on the day it posts. So help me reach 3,000 subscribers on my birthday. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the content, learn something new. Peace.